okay because it's giving sexy school girl you know it's giving babe the price tag is high it's giving babe i went to an expensive private school <laughs> it's giving young naomi campbell Give it. Naomi Campbell, walk. Naomi Campbell, walk. Let me see you do the Naomi Campbell. Ooh. <laughs> like, okay. But um, let's get into the video because I'm just, you know how I am. You know I'm obsessed with myself. So, yeah. But let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Barbie Life 2.0 podcast. I'm your host, Shakira, a.k.a. Barbie 2.0. And today, we are going to be talking about black women's hair. And I just want to talk about my opinion about certain things when it comes to this topic because I feel like for the longest, the black community has been going back and forth when it comes to black women's natural hair and wearing wigs. And it's just been a huge argument back and forth about whether we should be wearing wigs or not and all this mess. And I'm just like, you know what? You know what? I got a lot to say. So uh, let me let me just, you know, say my opinion. So let's 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 just get into it. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I want to talk about is I don't understand why black men always like to bring up the fact that they love natural women and they prefer black women with their natural hair because it's like black men. Come on now. Come on now. Look, we we having a conversation. We having a real conversation, okay? Let's get real. Like, touch my hand for real. Touch my hand when I say this, black man. Come on now. Let's get real with each other, okay? Y'all know damn well y'all do not appreciate black women with 4C hair. The only type of natural hair you like is the loose curl texture, okay? Black men... Y'all are extremely texturist. Clocky. The only time y'all appreciate 4C hair is when the girl has really, really, really long and full 4C hair. Like I'm talking like down to her ass and it's like this fucking full. That's the only time y'all appreciate 4C hair. If it's not super long and super full, you guys are calling us ball headed or saying that we're ugly or nappy headed or we don't look good or we need to get our hair done or we need a touch up or whatever like y'all are always making fun of us so black men when we bring up this topic about natural hair and 4c hair and wigs in the black community i need y'all to stop being in denial okay y'all need to get real with yourselves and understand y'all only appreciate a certain type of natural hair not all of our natural hair and i feel like it's important for us to talk about these things and get real about this because that brings us to the conversation of texturism and we really need to tackle that issue because that is essentially bringing down our community and we're just shaming black women for having african features which is totally wrong so yeah that that's my first opinion i feel like black men they always like to be in denial always talking about something oh i love natural hair no you don't you only like a certain type of natural hair calm the fuck down okay don't try to sit up here and try to know we know what it is and you know what it is too okay and a lot of y'all black men like to individualize yourselves as well because i will admit there are some black men that do appreciate natural hair, but every time we bring up this subject, it's always black men talking about, oh, well, I appreciate natural hair, so this isn't true. And it's like, stop individualizing yourself. Just because you appreciate 4C hair, that doesn't mean that majority of black men appreciate it. So when we talk about this topic and we talk about texturism, we need to get real and we need to look at reality. So even though you as a black man appreciates 4C hair, you can still acknowledge the fact that there are many other black men who don't appreciate 4C hair. And it's important for us to bring this up so we can hold them accountable so our community can have more self-love instead of spewing self-hatred onto each other and perpetuating all these issues that divide us even more 
So, yeah, that that was my first opinion. I felt like I had to get that off my chest because, child, y'all be doing too much with that shit. Like, black men, it's time for us to get real. If we really want to tackle this issue and we really want black women to feel appreciated for their natural hair, we need to get real about this, okay? Like, y'all need to start showing more love to 4C hair girlies, okay? Start showing more love to us. Stop telling us to put a wig on or get a touch-up or get a silk press or we look nappy-headed or bald-headed. Stop telling us that. That's the whole reason why some of some pe women end up putting the wig on because they feel bullied into putting a wig on. Just saying. I'm not saying that for myself, but for some people, that is their reality. So... Yeah, mm-hmm, but let's get into the next topic. So, the next opinion I have is I feel like the natural hair girlies, sometimes when y'all be trying to hate on girls that wear wigs, it feels like pick-me energy. And hear me out when I say this, okay? Realistically, as a black woman, you already know the struggle of having to maintain our hair in this society. And I really want to point that out in this video and really just like reiterate that for you guys. Because I feel like a lot of people look at black women with a wig and automatically assume that she doesn't love herself when really... She's just looking for a low maintenance hairstyle, child, because she got a lot of shit going on. Let's be real. A lot of y'all look at black women and you see a wig and you're like, oh, yeah, she don't love herself. She wants to be a white woman. And it's like, babe, 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 I love my natural hair. OK, but my natural hair is a lot to take care of. And we live in a capitalist society. We about to be in a recession we work in two, three jobs. We got like two, three side hustles going on. I do not have the time to be maintaining my 4C natural hair every single day. It is a lot. And wigs are just easier to maintain, especially when you put on a, a Synthetica. Let's be real. Like, I got I got a Synthetica on right now. This is Bombshell. From features equal, the, the famous bombshell features equal for those who've been asking me about my wig, yeah. And this is nothing. Like, I work a job and I also have my podcast and another side business. And let me tell you, I don't be having time to do my natural hair every single day. Like, if I had to really do my 4C hair every single day, it would take me at least an hour or two every single morning. Literally. That's a lot of work. And then on top of it, we do have to buy a lot of products because our hair absorbs a lot more products compared to looser curl patterns. So we do have to buy bulks of products a week as well. And that's a lot of work. And it's just a lot to maintain. So it's cool for like a couple weeks. But because we live in a capitalist society where everything is just work, 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 work. And we're trying to work multiple jobs just to make a living and pay bills. A lot of us do not have time to maintain our real hair. So that's why we put on wigs. And it really is a protective style too, because our hair is in cornrows and we're letting our hair just grow while it's in cornrows. And then all we do is plop the wig on. And if you have a Synthetica, you don't even have to style the, the bitch. You just put the shit on and you leave. Like I just put this on every single morning before I go to work. I just put this on and I leave. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that concept. Like they look at black women and automatically assume that we don't love ourselves when really we're just looking for a low maintenance hairstyle and wigs are low maintenance. And some black women just like to switch up our hair as well. Sometimes we like to do wigs. Sometimes we like to do braids. Sometimes we like to do locks, twists, but we don't like to keep the same hairstyle for too long. And one of the perks of being a black woman is being able to have a versatile look when it comes to your hair. That is pretty much known within black women. And a lot of people try to copy us when it comes to that because we have so much versatility when it comes to our hair. And we be serving and it's nothing wrong with wanting to change your hair here and there. Honestly, like people dye their hair all the time, a different color. That's not their real natural color. Does that mean they hate themselves? No, they're just trying to have a different hairstyle. So what's wrong with black women trying to have different hairstyles, different hair colors here and there. We're just switching it up because it gives us a different vibe and it gives us a different look. And some people like that versatility and 
as a black woman, we have the room to really have that versatility with our hair. And a lot of us love to have that versatility. We like to, you know, do braids one month and then twist one month and then wigs the next month. Like, that's how I am, at least. I love switching up my hair a lot. And I think that's something that's a part of black culture. And I don't think black women should be shamed for that at all. So I feel like when y'all look at black women and you see us with a wig, instead of assuming that we hate ourselves, just assume that whoever that has that wig on just needs a low maintenance hairstyle. Literally. That's what y'all need to be thinking. Because I feel like every time you see us with the wig, you just automatically assume we don't love ourselves when the reality is 99% of the time, we have a wig on because we just need a low maintenance hairstyle. Okay? Let's be real. And I just find it weird how the natural hair girlies will always come for black women who wear wigs when it's like, girl, you understand the struggle. Just because you chose to live in your natural hair and deal with the high maintenance, that doesn't mean that you have to shame the rest of us who wear wigs because you know the struggle. And on top of it, society puts a lot of pressure on black women when they do have their natural hair in because our hair has got to be laid, our edges got to be laid, we, we can't look nappy headed or we got to have a silk press. Like, yes, the crown act is intact and it's you know constitutional and all that shit but at the end of the day people still come for black women if our natural hair is not put together it's not even just wearing our natural hair we have to maintain it we have to make sure that it's soft and conditioned and make sure it's gelled and laid and a lot of people come for us if it's not okay if we just pop out and wash our 4C hair and then go outside, people are going to call us nappy headed because it's not gelled down or it's not conditioned or anything like that. So it's a lot of pressure on us to have our hair be super, super groomed. And that is a lot of work and a lot of pressure. And I feel like black women who wear their natural hair already know this struggle, but you're still shaming black women who wear wigs when you already know that they're put under this extremely high pressure to have their hair look super groomed. And then on top of it, you already know the maintenance is a lot and you're still coming for us. And that just gives me pick me energy. And sometimes I'm not going to lie. It just gives jealousy because I've had a lot of black women in my life talk about, oh, you know, I don't like wearing wigs. I feel like if you wear wigs, you don't love your natural hair. And then they'll turn around and ask me, oh, where'd you get your wig from? Because I have a birthday coming up or I have a celebration coming up and I want to try something different. So it's like, no, y'all natural hair girlies that be coming for black women with wigs, low key, y'all know there's nothing wrong with us wearing wigs because y'all be wanting to wear the wigs too. The issue is sometimes... And I say sometimes because not all the time, but sometimes y'all be wearing wigs and y'all still be looking horrible. So y'all get mad at the girls who wear wigs and look good. So then you want to come for us and say that we don't love ourselves and then try to come for us for wearing wigs when whole time, babe, you want to wear wigs. You want to be a wig girly. You just don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do it right. So you're coming for the girls who look good when they wear wigs. Y'all are just like the women who come for the girls who wear makeup. You know those girls who be like, I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup because I'm just, I, I love my natural self. And it's like, girl, no, okay? You want to wear makeup. But when you wear makeup, you look ugly as fuck. And that's why you feel some type of way about the girls who wear makeup. Because you thought the makeup was going to make you look prettier and you still look ugly as fuck. So now you coming for the girls who wear makeup because you want to project. That, that be y'all with the wig situation. Some of y'all don't know how to put on wigs or lay a wig. And then when you put it on, it look horrible. And you thought the wig was going to make you look special or look prettier. And then when you put it on and you don't lay it correctly, y'all want to project onto the girls who do wear wigs and make us feel bad for it. When really it's just baby. You just don't know how to lay that shit. And it's okay. You could just ask for advice. But stop being a hating ass bitch. Just saying. Mm, I don't know. But that's just me. Hey, 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 hey. And I, ooh. Let's get into the next topic. I honestly feel like when it comes to this whole natural hair conversation, it's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Okay? One thing about it, 
I'm a girl who changes my hair a lot, okay? And when I wear wigs, people say I don't love myself. And when I wear my natural hair, people say that I'm nappy headed or they say that I don't have enough hair or they come for my 4C hair and say that it looks ugly. So as a dark skinned girl with 4C hair, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So you shouldn't even listen to people when they come for you about your hair because at the end of the day, <laughs> you damned if you do and you damned if you don't. <laughs> so, but um, Clocky. And the last thing that I want to talk about is this whole hard wig and soft life trend. Honestly, I hate this shit so much. And I'm not just saying that because I am a black girl with a white boyfriend who wears synthetic wigs. But I'm just saying this because I just feel like it's so stupid and it's a way to bash black women for dating white men. And I feel like it's a sense of projection as well because I feel like the black women who engage in this whole hard wig soft life joke... I feel like they're just mad because those types of women conform to so much European beauty standards and they get BBLs and lace wigs and they still can't pull white men. So they're mad at us because a lot of us don't have to have a good wig on or we could wear our 4C hair and not have a BBL and still pull white men. Just saying. That's just my opinion, though. I that, that just is my opinion. And that's just based on what I've seen in real life. Like, child, the amount of times I've come across women, especially light-skinned women, who will literally have a whole temper tantrum because they realize a dark-skinned girl like myself is pulling white men without having to get a BBL or having to wear a wig. Or if I do wear a wig, the wig could look fucked up and I'll still pull a white man. Whole time, they going so hard trying to conform into these popular beauty standards. Getting a BBL, making sure their wig is laid, making sure lace is not showing, making sure that their skin looks as light as possible. And they all they could pull is black men who make them baby moms. That's all they could pull. So I feel like some of y'all just be projecting. And I, I, don't, I just don't like the hard wig, soft life thing because I also think that it's, it's not true. Honestly, y'all see me. I wear wigs a lot and never have I worn a bad wig ever on camera, like ever. Y'all see me all the time. I always have wigs that look really fucking good. Excuse me. I always have wigs that look really good. Like I look good. Like I'll show y'all right now. Like, babe, one thing about me, blonde. I slay. Bangs, I slay. Middle part, slay. Side part, slay. Brown hair, slay. Like, one thing about me, I'm a slay a wig. And I have a whole white man. And I still be slaying my wig. So it's like, that's not true. And I know so many girls who date white men who have bomb ass hair. And their hair always looks good. Wig is always laid. And I just feel like y'all see shit online and y'all see some stuff online where like you see a girl with a bad wig with a white man and then you just create that stereotype and you want to use that to bully black women into dating black men exclusively and it's like uh it's that's corny that's corny but um that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i just wanted to get all of this off my chest because i feel like you know these this whole argument about black women and wigs and their natural hair, I just feel like it's just so stupid. And I feel like the community just keeps bullying each other over and over. And it's like, bruh, the reason the Crown Act even existed is because of our own community. Like, I want all of you to just look back at every single time you got made fun of for your natural hair. Who was it coming from? I promise you. 99.9% .9 of the time it was coming from your own people and this is why I say we need to start having these conversations because texturism is very 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 livid and very very common in our community and we let it slide so so much but then we also shame each other for trying to conform and trying to adjust to that texturism. And that's not okay. 
if we want to move forward as a community and we really want to tackle this issue, we need to come together and have these conversations and get real about the self-hatred that goes on and the projection that goes on and the pressures that black women are put under when it comes to their natural hair. That's what we really need to do. We need to stop shaming each other and coming for each other and start working together, okay? But I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys very soon. Trust me, I am so sorry that I haven't made that many videos this week. I broke my phone at the JT concert. If you guys want to see a couple clips, I'll show you. But um, I did go see JT, and she was so amazing. I met her. At, like, I didn't meet her, meet her officially yet, but, you know, that'll happen one day. But I did, like, touch her hand, and she was so sweet. I love her so much like honestly I can't wait to like formally meet her when like you know your girl gets famous <laughs> but um that that'll be y'all you know make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my podcast and also make sure you guys follow me on Instagram my Instagram is the Barbie 2.0 two E's so it's T-H-E-E -E Barbie 2.0 Make sure you guys definitely follow me on Instagram so you guys can see all my fashion looks and just an update on my life. And, you know, I be having fun. I be going out. I be doing shit. It's a party on Instagram. So just make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, okay? <laughs> and I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys very soon. And, you know, I'll just stay on the camera for an extra few seconds so you can get a taste of this beautiful nice hot chocolate uh okay whatever but i'll see you guys very soon i love you guys very much and bye peace up